Yes. <laughs> I was at the I was at the restroom in the Swan Edgars. Just having a little rest, just sitting there, not interfering with anybody. When this old crone suddenly came right up to me and sat beside me. You're on the staff of the BBC, she said. Aren't you? just got the thing for you and she put a little card into my hand do you want to know what was written on it men for sale <laughs> what on earth do you mean i said men she said all sorts of shapes and sizes for sale could you possibly mean? It's an international congress, she said. I got up for the entertainment and relief of the lady members of the civil service. You can hear the boys we've got speak through a microphone, especially for your pleasure, singing little folk tunes I'm sure you've never heard before. Tea's on the house, and every day we have the very best pastries. For the cabaret at tea time, the boys do a rare dance, imported all the way from Buenos Aires, needing nothing but a pair of cricket pants. Every one of them is tried and tested at the very best quality and at very reasonable rates. If you like one of them by his individual characteristics, well then you can buy him. But, but for you, not at retail price. As you work for the BBC, we'll gladly make a special reduction. And <clears throat> if you're at all dissatisfied, you can send him back within seven days and have your money refunded. Uh, that's very kind of you, I said, but as a matter of fact, I've just been on leave and I start work tomorrow, <laughs> so uh, I'm perfectly refreshed. And I left her where she was. <laughs> Men for sale. What an extraordinary idea. I've never had anything so outrageous. Look, here's the, uh, I have the card. serious.